So if you can't tell, this is how we are doing our lap system. Normally you could just bring one car and hopefully get a hitchhike up and everything like that. But coronavirus. We were trying to have a powder day. Didn't happen. It snowed all yesterday, but up at Loveland, just not that much. Buffalo right next to my house got a lot more snow. But we're here at Loveland a little early, so it might be crunchy. But now is the shift from Tommy's backyard to Loveland and we're gonna be ripping Loveland a bunch. But because it's now safer at home and it's not this this crazy as it used to be, we're riding with Sean again. If you don't remember Sean, he's the guy I rode with the last day of the season at a ski resort. So check this video out. He brought us to Loveland and we had a killer powder day. Such a good day. Dude, That I, I really enjoyed that day. Sean's my drone buddy, so we're gonna be flying drones, we're gonna be doing stuff and we're gonna tag team. We got a big old loud truck coming by. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna tag team the driving. We'll leave one car at the pickup spot and we'll drive up. And then once we uh, drop down, we'll take that one car up, then take the other car, drive to the next spot we're gonna drop. It's gonna be a little bit of work, but it's the best way to do this, especially since there's less people driving up here and social distancing. I'm not trying to jump in any cars with any strangers. Also not trying to load any strangers up in my car. I know Sean's clean and ready to go. Also his tattoo shop's open, so go get a tattoo. Now uh, I gotta get ready and then jump into his car so we can go up and then ah, snowboard. I'm so excited. <laughs> Guys, this is the spot. Snow doesn't feel too crunchy. It's gorgeous up here. We still have a ton of snow. A basin's like right there. A basin's looking good. And on the drive up, they plowed a bunch of their snow to, to like to their lifts and everything like that. Like A Basin's gonna reopen. I know they are. I'm so excited. I'll put money on it. I think A Basin's opening back up. How'd you do, old man? I made it. <laughs> Quarantine got to Sean. He lost his his mountain legs. Got cookie, cookie body. <laughs> cookie legs. But uh, yeah, Sean's gonna do some talking for his channel, which you should check out. It's linked down below. And then we're gonna drop. It's gonna be sick. run first run we did slip out <laughs> it got a little crunchy for a second but dude snow was nice felt good felt smooth let's do another one Out of 
all the places you could park, you gotta park in front of me. Now I gotta back up. <laughs> That'd make a good shot. <laughs> so if you can't tell, this is how we are doing our lap system. Normally you could just bring one car and hopefully get a hitchhike up and everything like that. But coronavirus, no one's really picking up anybody. So this works. It's a little bit of lapping. Oh, sanitize. Yeah, stay six feet away from me, get in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Helmet on. So they they plowed all these snow banks in front of the parking during like the heart of the coronavirus, everything like that. So they're still kind of here. I've been running them over, <laughs> smushing them down. So I can't drive the FJ with my boots on. It just it doesn't work well at all. So I gotta take one boot off to to do this. It's a lot more stickers on this than I've ever seen it. So this is the normal spot where we ride Loveland super late, which is gonna be sick. All of the rails and stuff currently are down at the bottom, so we'll check that out when we get there. However, someone did bring like two rails up here, so let's go hit this one real quick. Hey, okay, someone put a lot of time, energy, and money into this build. I've never seen a tubed rainbow rail. Good job, whoever made that. Kind of a hard landing. I did get a little greedy trying to slide that log and <laughs> happens. While well, I wait for Sean to come down because he's playing with his toys. Let's go check out the bottom park. So this bottom park is currently the one that has all the rails and stuff. So on days where we don't have someone to do the top to bottom runs with, we'll come ride this. I want to check it out. All right, we got a, we'll good. See, that, that thing is interesting, looks okay. No joke. No joke. That's the tube that was in the backyard. I know because this bottom half is broken just like this. It disappeared. And now we know it's it's here. Which we, which is sick because we know this thing slides amazing. Another tube. Plus the barrel still here from last year. That jump is done though because someone had a fire pit right behind it. This is definitely slidable and hittable. And whoever you are, you're a madman, but I'm not partaking in that at all. Good to know this. The bottom half is holding up well and it looks really good. You know what's really nice is walking on snow and not post holding every two seconds. That's really nice. I don't miss that about the backyard, but man, I miss the backyard, the builds we did. We're not gonna do any building out here like that, mainly because we don't have Tommy's piles of wood, which are already cut and ready to go. And, uh, too many people right here to build something that people can get hurt on. Now we got a couple more laps in us, but before we get to those, let's mention today's sticker shout out. We got Osvaldo. Dude, he threw the Evolution sticker on his pallet jack at work. Dude, you're a legend. Stoked that you are obviously constantly always thinking about the channel, dude. 
huge supporter of Els Vado is the man. So dude, thank you so much for supporting the dream. Throw in the sticker on your pallet jack. Let's go. Guys, if you want any of the Evolution stickers, the face mask, since you gotta wear face masks nowadays, uh, hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, any of it guys. It's all linked down below and then tag me on Instagram. I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs and with like the way that everything's going, like the merch is how we continue to do this and then the Patreon page and the membership. So guys, thank you for all my new members. That's the little join button next to my name on YouTube. And then all the Patreons, like I couldn't do this without you guys. And I'm happy that I can still bring you guys snowboard content. And I want you to know I can still bring you a lot of snowboard content. Don't think the snowboarding is done just because the back yard melted away. It's also why we got that camper. Got the camper so we can go chase the snow, continue to bring you snowboard content all summer. <laughs> I'm gonna leave with my glove. Gotta take my boot off. So have you ever rode Loveland Pass? And if you have, how do you do it? Do you get a buddy and you guys take turns lapping? You do what we do, the two person car car flop? Um, or do you get up someone that doesn't like snowboarding lapping you? Or do you just like hitchhike? Comment down below, how do you do the pass? Also, if you do do the pass, just remember, stay safe. Like there's definitely just avalanches on Loveland Pass. And um, yeah, goal, every time you do anything that's un unpatrolled or watched or no avalanche, uh, work just got to be safe guys. You got to know what you're doing All right guys here we are chipmunk. Let's get it. Been a sick day. You've had fun. Wow, it's amazing Dude, that jump I found was yeah. so sick. Still yeah, really good. See it till it was too late. But man, it's softer, much softer that time. Whew, that was fun. Too bad we don't got chairlift to get us up there quicker. Huh? Say, too bad we don't got chairlift to get us up there quicker. Yeah. But we will at a basin. They, no joke, you can see it. I'm gonna zoom in oh, super I see hard. The cat, now, real good. the cat, there's a cat plowing, farming snow. Hey, basin's gonna do it. Oh, I'm so excited. I think so. 100%. I think they're going to get it open. Pants. Yeah. So the nice thing about Sean is because he does YouTube. I mean, Tommy does YouTube as well, but Sean's really into analytics. He's like my analytic guru guy. He breaks everything down for me. And we talk about stuff. He's also older than me, so he's got like this fatherly uh, <laughs> wisdom that he drops down on me. <laughs> Big shout out to Sean for coming out. All the drone footage is from him. And once again, he does have a YouTube channel. So check out Sean's channel. Drone stuff, nerd stuff, snowboard stuff. He can't figure it out, but he does it all. And it's always a really good time to watch. See you, dude. Yep, I'm out of here. All right, and with that starts the Loveland Pass Adventures. We definitely want to get some more top to bottom days in before you can't ride top to bottom. It melts away and you can't do it. But there's the hike parks that we'll be doing up here as well. And yeah, we're just going to be still kind of keeping away from you guys. If you see me on Loveland Pass, say what's up. I'm not going to high five you. I might be like, yo. But I mean, I'm excited to be back out here. Being out here got me like excited to be like, Hi, right, here we go, the next chapter, Tommy's Backyard, to then Loveland Pass, and then hopefully seeing a basin, plow and snow, getting it ready, a whole 
probably a month of riding a basin would be incredible maybe get back on track for a 200 day season i don't know i don't think the 200 day season is possible anymore also just so you know on thursday we are going and picking up our camper uh expect a camper reveal video we're really excited on the model uh, it's gonna work great for our family so we can go to hood and do our snowboard camp me and tommy tommy bennett my dude my boy uh, we are hosting a snowboard camp. If you have not signed up for it yet, top link in the description. Oregon announced that they are opening up their ski resorts. So if you want to come snowboard with us, camp is on. It's going to happen. We already have five of you guys signed up. So I'm super excited to snowboard with you guys at camp. Other than that, guys, thank you for supporting the channel um, and helping me through this tough coronavirus time. Like, you guys are incredible. I'm so thankful for all of you. Like, no joke, all of you. Even if you haven't donated, snagged merch, you just watched this video, like, thank you so much. Other than that, Team Elk House, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no. Cliff hanger, yes, I so do. Banger, I'm the new Mick Jagger, I'm the new Mick Jagger. I was wondering what you were doing. I'm being stupid. <laughs>